the Samsung booth, showing you the Samsung Apps TV. Um, it's one of a couple of TVs that we've seen at CES this year that have internet media content integrated directly into it. As you can see, they have uh, several good content partners, you have Blockbuster, Netflix, Voodoo, as well as some social media applications. So similar, similar concept to uh, many of the TVs that have directly integrated uh, internet content. And I think it has the same the same pitfalls. Once again, a whole lot of internet content today, a whole lot more coming in the future. And uh, as you, with this, you'd be limited to what the TV, the Samsung, to, is able to uh, provide through their content partnerships. And so the reason why I don't like putting that in a TV, if you put it in a cheap appliance, throw away the old appliance, get a new appliance if there's some new content out that, uh, that your appliance doesn't support. But with your TV, you're, you're limited to what they have. And so if you spend a bunch of money, extra money on a TV because it supports internet content, and then later it turns out they don't have the internet content that you want because with any appliance, you only get a subset of what's out there unless you have a full PC. So uh, again, not a big fan of putting it directly into the TV. They are available because I'm sure that uh, for some people it will be a big hit. For some people really like it. For me, I just I just don't think the TV is the right place to put that content because there's too much innovation in the internet content today.